and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what you should be doing with your coins right now. As you guys know, it is Christmas Eve, which is kind of crazy, to be honest with you guys. This year flew. Last thing I knew... I was starting my channel on one subscriber, and now we're Christmas Eve a year, like, not a year later, but close to it at least. I remember last Christmas when I was asking for my first Elgato, guys, remember, anything's possible. No, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, just think about that. Last Christmas I was asking for my first Elgato. We made, we made a lot of progress since then, guys, so it's been pretty cool to see it grow, see this channel grow as a whole, all you guys who come every single day, so thank you guys for that. Enjoy your Christmas Eve with your family. Hopefully you guys do this. I'm going to New York City today, so that'll be my day. So hopefully I can get enough pre-recorded for you guys prior to. And yes, I will have videos on Christmas Day. The grind never sleeps. But guys, before we get into the video, remember to see 25 days of Pood Miss. All you do to enter is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below your console. And the secret word. Sorry guys, it's really early in the morning. Had a little busy morning, kind of tired. So anyway, let's get into the video. So what are you going to be doing with your coins right now? So for the most part, you guys have all been asking me, guys. I'm sorry. I truefully apologize from the bottom of my heart. If I haven't answered a lot of your comments this month, there is such an influx of giveaway comments that I actually can't see regular comments. And that, that has been the issue. But I see a lot of you guys even notice that. You guys have been saying like it sucks that he can't respond to a lot of our comments this month. At least you guys notice. I'm sorry about that, but that's the truth. And ask me what I'm personally doing with my coins right now, Madden. Now, my coins are a little bit low, but that's because I picked up quite a few players, as you guys do know. So I did think there was a, t a period to buy a few cards. I got Randy Moss my power pass. I picked up a Mon Green. I picked up Tony G. I picked up Dion. I picked up Mahomes. Now, here's the thing. I might end up selling him on green. He's amazing, but I think Walter Payton just came out and he actually is him, but better. If Walter Payton does, in fact, get Bruiser, I will make the switch. That was the thing. Someone was saying that Walter Payton got Bruiser, but when he gets powered up, he doesn't get Bruiser. So hopefully, he ends up getting to keep Bruiser. So I got, we're waiting for Kralo or someone's answer to see if they can fix the Payton card, because his unpowered up should not get Bruiser if the powered up one doesn't. But if he does get Bruiser, he is slightly better than Amon Green. Just slightly, ever so slightly. But it's definitely worth it to have a slightly better running back. Especially in the state of Madden right now. Now guys, as you guys see is the background. For the holiday spirit, I did change the background color to blue. I'll probably do red tomorrow for Christmas or maybe green. But, so my coin stack's a little bit low right now. I plan to sell some cards and build it back up. I think you want a big coin stack right now for two reasons. First off, presents open tomorrow. So you guys are either in or you're out. Me personally, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm out. Now don't follow my advice. That's me saying I don't have enough coins right now, so if I go in on presents and they're not that great, I screw myself. Doesn't mean you shouldn't do them. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the oracle, I'm not God. I can't decide that these things won't be good. I just never really got into them. I, I'm a, I like fun things, right? Now, these presents don't seem fun. They seem guaranteed value here, like 4,000 kindling for a certain present, and more than likely they'll all return a similar value. I like last year where I could open up 100 and one of them might be worth 400K. And then I, I put open up 100k worth of one might be 400k. Now I'm up 400k. I did it again. Now I'm up 800k. I like those. Those are fun. Those were amazing. These, I, I just wasn't enjoying them. These just didn't seem fun to me. So I didn't do them. So I don't recommend you go all in on press. Open a few. It's always good to have a few for Christmas Day. But I wouldn't recommend you go all in on them. But other than that, when it comes to just your coins, forget the press. Those open tomorrow. Tomorrow is supposedly the 12 days of Christmas starts, which is weird that they're starting the 12 days of Christmas on Christmas Day. That is what we saw that one time from that one picture that said 12 days, which would make sense because it would line up perfectly for New Year's, which would end the promo. And not to mention, guys, one thing to let you guys know that we know we have a bunch more stuff coming. Come to Zero Chill. Milestones, to get your max player, it takes 434 stars. And I think at max, we have about 230. So we're not, we're not even halfway through, or we're, we're actually just exactly halfway through. So we still have another half to still go. Plenty more stuff to still come out. We still have Ghost the Past that should be coming out today. This promo is not even close over. We might have a blitz. So I recommend you hold on to your coins at this point in Madden because, like I just said, this was the appetizer. We've gotten the app. Like, you guys think this is over? This is why I haven't invested. You guys are probably wondering why haven't I invested heavily into this promo yet? That was the appetizer. I made this mistake. I Well, I almost made this mistake last year where I was like, oh boy, Sam Darnold, all these guys came out. Let me go in. Let me spend all my coins. I was like, wait, I want to open the presents first. I ended up making a bunch of coins and that's why I stopped. But. Eventually, I was like, oh, crap. Good thing I didn't buy all those players. Next day, Julio, McCaffrey, AB, uh, Dwight, Ed Reed, Steve Young, Randy Watt. It just kept coming. And then before you know then there's a Blitz. Then there's a, a Bo Jackson. It just kept going and going. And I was like, wow. Good thing I didn't buy anything. And then at the end of it all, I looked at all the carnage. I was like above the city looking. I was like, wow, everything's dead in price now. I'll buy you. I'll buy you. It was great. It was a great time. So I recommend you guys holding to your coins towards the end because, guys, I promise you, 
I'm I am the sole definition of let me buy this player today for 200k more, not play with him for three days, and then in three days finally play Madden, and then wait he went down a price. Are you guys you guys ever do that? Like see, so let's say today, a Julio Jones zero show comes down. Wow, today's Christmas Eve, so I probably can't play too much Madden. Tomorrow's Christmas, so I probably can't play too much Madden, and the day after Christmas I'm seeing family. I probably can't play Madden until the 27th. Let me spend 600k on Julio Jones right now. Yeah, that'd be cool. Cut, and then can't use him and powers him up, spends all his coins on him, can't use him for three days to be impatient, and then comes back 27th. Wow, he's 350k. You know, honestly, in retrospect, I could have just waited because I wasn't going to use him anyways. Don't, guys, don't make that mistake that I, I always make with players. I literally go all out to buy them at times I don't need to, and then I waste coins. Wait. Wait for the carnage. That's what I'm doing. Look, I'm going to show you guys the market. There's still opportunity to buy now, but a lot of stuff's going to come out, so don't go all in. That's me looking for uh, Walter Payton to try to buy him, as I was just doing the thing I just said not to do. Don't, don't do it. Just wait, just wait a little bit until things come down. As you guys, yeah, like, I don't need Walter Payton right now. I'm not going to have to play Madden for like two or three days. I could make videos, but I'm not going to have time to actually sit down and play like Weekend League or anything. As you guys see, these are super cheap. I'm going to be honest with you. If you wanted to scoop one of these, I wouldn't be against it in the slightest bit, only because if you can know, well, my personal opinion, you want to get these for 220 or below. If you can get them for 220 or below, you're looking solid. You know why? Because I think there's going to be something that requires kindling. I don't think that they're going to end this promo with kindling only being used for the store sets. I, I just can't see it. That's that's ridiculous to me. They have to add like a blitz, which obviously can technically a store set too. But they only have like exchange 7,000 kindling for 7,700 for another player. Thanks, EA. Like that's not cool. That's not great. That is why they're all so cheap because you can just re-roll them and they re they re-roll them back into oblivion. Now they're this price. All oh wow, Barry Sanders is two eighty seven. Barry Sanders was an L, wasn't he? Let's see what Eric Dickerson is real quick. I spent six hundred cam Barry Sanders. Eric Dickerson still oh wow he's at four forty wow he's coming down. Walter Payton really killed the market there, didn't he? Surprisingly. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So if you can get these for below 220, I think they're a solid. Just pick up one or two because it's good to have kindling on deck. That's why I have a home sitting in my binder. I want to have kindling on deck in the case that something does come out with kindling. Now I wouldn't quick sell. Don't quick sell for kindling. Hold the card. If kindling comes out, if something that needs kindling comes out, you can either sell homes for a lot more money than you bought them for, or you can quick sell. But wait, let yourself have that option. Don't force yourself into having it and then screwing yourself in a very great coin making opportunity. Next, recommended coin stack going into these la this second half of all the zero chill stuff. I'd say at least 700k. I think you gotta have at least 700k because 500k is great and all, but for a blitz, you're not gonna take advantage of prices. See, now if there's a blitz, right? And you know that there's a blitz coming, you could buy like 10 of these cards, right? Or like let's say for a 500k, you could buy like three. 700k, you could buy three of them. You could buy three of these cards, and then if a blitz comes out and it, they they go up 100k in price, you could you could easily flip all three of them. Now if you only have 500k, you could really just barely buy two, but you probably don't want to kill all your coins, so you'll probably buy one. Now he makes an 80k profit on one of them. Now it's like, okay, I made 80k, I can't really do much else. So I think you definitely want to have your coins up because in opportunities of invest, investment opportunities and things to buy or a blitz to participate in, you're going to need an excess of coins because if you have 500k, one big purchase, you're going to be broke and no one likes being broken mad. So at least 700k, one big purchase, you can still have half that still at some point, at least half that, like 350k. So I think that's definitely the route to go. Now things are, as you guys can see, while well, I'm telling you don't buy into this promo yet, Cordell Stewart was selling for 700k, 600k. Here we are three days later, 600k. Barry Sanders was going for about 450k still. Here we are a few days later, 278. Terry McLaurin was like 380. Now he's like in the 270 range. Obviously, that didn't say that, but I've seen his price. Walter Payton is now 400. I almost bought him for 460 this morning. Good thing I didn't, because now he had just seen him for 400k. Guys, the best thing I can say is, like I said, build a coin stack. Maybe invest in players if you're feeling like there's going to be a blitz. And also, definitely, definitely, definitely do not buy right away. There's too much stuff coming out. What kills value is content. It's just a fact. McCaffrey comes out on Monday, 400K. Not this one, just in general. Mahomes comes out on Tuesday, 400K. Two running backs and quarterbacks come out on Thursday and Friday. They're all 300K. So the Christmas promo has so much content, they're going to keep introducing every position multiple times. That's why I wait. Typically with the Christmas promo, I enjoy it. I rock out maybe with some presents, possibly if you guys are feeling that, I wasn't feeling it, but in the years past, I rock out with some presents. I enjoy the solos. I enjoy the weekend league. I, play, I pick up a few cards just to try and sell them back. But as far as building and powering up, I really don't, I haven't touched one yet. I really don't touch them until towards the latter half. Like maybe towards the time of a blitz, I'll start sniping some. Or I'll, if I can snipe him, it's fine. If I can snipe one for like 50K less, it's fine because I know that I won't lose value on him. But as far as, look at this, all these guys have come down too much to justify. Like you can clearly see here that if you bought a day or two ago, you would have screwed yourself. And guys, the good stuff hasn't come out yet. We still have the past. 
The Ghost of Mountain Pass, those are the expensive ones. Those are, those are the good ones. Those are like the 96 overalls. 96, 95 overalls. Those are like the Steve Youngs, the Michael Vicks, the Champ Baileys, the Gonzalez. We already got the Gonzalez, so we'll probably won't get him. Those are the legends. Those are the ones that are going to be really, really good. So I just recommend waiting, guys. My best advice is don't use your coins right now. Hold them. If you can snipe, that's fine. If you can invest, that's fine. But hold them for the most part and wait for the market to die and then reap the rewards later on after that. Now, guys, that's about it for this video. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas Eve. I hope you have a great day today. Go with the family. Do what you got to do. Play plenty. Watch plenty of my Madden videos. That definitely helps me. You guys want to you guys wanna pay for some Christmas gifts? That's the best way. Let's get me some new equipment in here. All jokes aside, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas Eve. Make sure to enter the 25 days of Poodle Miss. All you got to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your console and the secret world once you do all those things you're to win. Good luck. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys on the next three videos and then on Christmas. So enjoy. I'm out. Peace.